Right, what up farm? Welcome to another video. Last night, we put our EK crop dividers on because we gotta spray our canola. The agronomist came out and said that there is too many Iliotha scrubs present um, and building around the area. So we should spray it. Uh, you could get the plane to come and spray over the top, but it's expensive and it's getting booked up. Because we've got the crop dividers, I'm really interested to see how much damage they limit going into a crop that's almost mature. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and have a go and see what it looks like. It's foaming over because there's quite a lot of uh, wetter in there. When almost full, oh, I think we can call that good enough. got a fairly good look at how the crop dividers are working there I'm really really happy with how they're going um, it's doing a good job it will be interesting to see how it goes when we win right um, but I don't know the tire is fairly wide it's definitely smoking one row and bending these ones over but I don't know, I guess that's probably toast. Might stand up a bit. It's just pushing it out. You can see down there, I'll walk up there. Up here a little bit further, it starts to close up a bit more. Everything leans in. Hmm, be interesting to see, but they're doing a really good job. I'm pretty happy with that. We might be losing a couple of percent, but saving a fair bit by doing it ourselves really this is why we have a self-propelled sprayer for jobs like this all right still spraying um the crop probably looks about what i thought it was going to maybe a little bit better which is nice uh, it's gonna be challenging to win row this year just because it's short short crop so not too much bulk when there's a lot of bulk there you can sort of just sit back and relax it sort of just feeds through apart from the odd block but I think it um, 
Yeah, it could be a challenge this year. Anyway, a good year to have a brand new knife on, that's for sure. Anyway, we're getting through this. The crop dividers are doing their job and doing it well. Um, that will make it challenging also when the canopy of the canola is broken, it doesn't feed through as well in the windrow. But that's all right. <coughs> oh, hay fever. Lovely. Excuse me. So we're going good. All done. All finished. Just got to get out the gate and then shut it. All right, I wasn't sure and I'm still not sure how it really looks out there. There's some more right patches. A few of those more right patches that I looked at, there was actually no seeds in there. It had all been frosted, so who knows what we'll get from this paddock. This paddock is a lot more, uh, well, turned a lot more than what that next one is and the one down there. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Like whether it turns quicker when it's frosted. I'll get out here and have a look. So he's half frosted, sort of. Some's gone. Just want a really turned patch. We'll go a bit further. Here's a patch. Oh yeah, look, maybe you can see that, I don't know. But there's some seeds in there. Just must be more ripe. That one's got a few. In some of the other patches, I picked some and there was actually no seeds in there at all, whatsoever. Hmm. Oh well. Shut the gate now, come back with the wind rower in sort of 10 to 15 days time. Probably 15, it'll be 14, 15. And then come back with the header after that. There it goes, Dad. The old front off to its new home. So um, these pins on the crop dividers were challenging to get out the first couple of times I pulled them off. Um, I have gotten a lot better at cleaning them up, which makes it easier, but also a ratchet strap helps. So just hook the ratchet strap on over this side and then hook it on to the end of the pin. Put it on to the end of a pin and then start ratcheting. Ah. <laughs> and then if it doesn't come initially, you can just give it a tap. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Ratchet a bit more. A bit more of a tap. Easy as that. Pins out. All right, I covered the pins in oil and then zip tied a bag around it. So that should protect them as good as they can. And then a wire brush on the drill is the best thing for those. I could smear some grease in there, I guess. That would probably help. Maybe I'll do that. Buttons. Don't press them. Don't press them. Just walk around. Show them the sprayer and your bike.
Ah! Oh my! Hey, Jenny. Listen now. Oh.